Hi guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio, and welcome back to uh, tutorials. I'm sorry I didn't get to <laughs> post for the past couple weeks, but I got a I got a couple things done now. I, I know you guys saw my tracer animation um, around three three weeks ago, and uh, this took me a little while to make. I actually started it a long, long time ago, and I decided I wanted to finish something and color it, so I just chose this to um, finish up. So as you guys can see, I have a picture of tracer uploaded into Open Tunes in order to take a reference off of. So, um, I did get a request for a coloring tutorial, so I thought I'd teach you guys the tools you can use in which I use to color. So, sadly, I did not, um, it's not as easy as, um, a lot of other softwares. I didn't actually use a different layer for the coloring. I had to use the same layer that I did the line work, so I won't be able to, you know, show you guys, um, exactly how it is done. But I can show you a couple things. So, uh, one of the coloring tools, which is my favorite, and it takes a little longer, but how, however, it's, a uh, it's really effective when you get to use it um, uh, when you can't use the sort of fill bucket. So the classic is a fill bucket. I'll just show you guys that one first. Why not? Um, uh, we'll just make a circle here. Grab the fill bucket. Take one of these colors. Boom. Oh, it's on freehand mode. I'll go over those later. You gotta make sure it's on normal mode. Then boom, you got a circle. So that's the freehand um, option. Uh, that's the sorry. That's the fill bucket option. Otherwise, you can sort of make a the circle. Let me make it black again make a circle, take the paintbrush, and then you can just sort of manually color it. Now, I like doing this sometimes when I don't want to, like, finish my lines. I are, I'm not using um, markers, which is another thing we're going to go over in this tutorial. Um, so, uh, I like to use um, f the the paintbrush when I'm sort of, I don't want to finish the line. Say I'm drawing this eye, and I just want to color it in nicely. So, um, that's what I use the paintbrush for, and the fill bucket tool works also. But there are other ways to use the fill bucket, bucket tool, which I'm going to show you right now. There is the normal mode. So let me draw uh, three circles because I believe there's how many modes? How many modes are there? I think there's around three. Oh, four. So yeah, we'll show you. It's um, they're um, very straightforward. So we'll draw four circles: one, two, three, and four. So, um, the way that you use the first mode, which we're going to go is normal mode. It's just you tap and it fills it in. Let me actually make it red. We tap and it fills it in, and that's uh, all straightforward. So then the second mode is rectangular, meaning you have to draw a rectangle. It fills in whatever is in the rectangle. So then third mode is freehand, which is one of my favorites where you use sort of, let me actually go to it, where you circle what you want to fill in. It's not, the line isn't even complete. Come on, here we go. So what you, whatever you do with freehand is that you circle, it sort of lets you draw the scape in which you want um, to be colored, which is really nice. So you can just sort of do this, and then there you go. So, and then... Polyline is when you sort of select with um, uh, a linear a linear line what you want to be colored, and then you double tap to have it colored like that, like just like that. So my favorite personally are um, normal hand, normal and freehand. I don't really use rectangle very much, and um, the thing with um, filling in with the paintbrush tool is that you can't really undo it. Now let me actually I can undo these colors. Actually no, I can't undo the paintbrush tool, but I cannot erase it. Um, I believe that erasing colors is a little bit more difficult. So if I draw this, um, so let me draw it in black. If I draw this, then I take this and I fill it in like this. Um, I'm not sure if I can erase this. Yeah, I can only erase the lines. But the way that we erase that is actually you have to use the paintbrush tool. So um, when you start a new layer, you'll have the black and you'll have this very uh, this sort of white that says zero on it, but it's actually not a white. This white that says zero on is able to erase those colors because it's sort of like a a transparent color as you can see you can't edit it so it's used to erase the colors that are that you drew with the paintbrush tool or anything that you can erase um, with the, with the fill bucket which is kind of nice now on to let's see we already got the paintbrush tool we got the fill bucket tool all nice oh there's also another um, thing you can do with the fill bucket tool let me show you um, I'll draw a quick circle again and fill it in with normal mode um, we can also fill in lines so you can sort of change the color of lines which is very nice Lines and areas will change the entire thing, so and that's and that's pretty much that. So um, I'm not sure what selective does. Depth. Um, actually, let's experiment with this a little bit. I'm not really sure what depth does. I've never actually seen it before <laughs> until now. I never really looked around. So let's see. Well, if we do five and you have the depth like that, and then we have it put the uh, zero. It doesn't seem to change too much. Let's try putting it like here or all the way up. Well, but it doesn't seem to do too much. So now to move on to markers. Now in a bitmap layer is, only, is the only time markers are going to work. Now you can't use them vector layers. It's kind of aggravating. 
um, I know, but you know, vector layers have a lot more benefits than bitmaps do. So, say you're drawing an eye, like a sort of, let's see, let's draw like an anime style eye, because this comes up in anime style anything, a lot more it does than um, uh, any um, American sort of cartoon style, where they don't like to finish the eyes. Let me actually get the thinner line. It's got a three up in here. There we go. Nice. And um, so it's like that. They don't really like to finish the line right here. I think you guys can sort of see where I'm going to go with this. So this is sort of like a menacing manga looking eye. So we have this very menacing manga looking eye. And what we can do to fill in this eye without having to finish this line is very special. Is very special, And it's called a marker. So what we do is we make a new style. And um, it's usually, I like to make I like to make it a sort of red or blue. So we're going to make it a blue. I like to make it blue so I can know what, what is the marker. And you guys will see why. So we'll go to settings in this little bar right here and go auto paint for lines so that's what you're going to do and then you're going to come back with your um, color that has now made a marker so it has a little A on it and you'll draw right here I'll make a better line than that actually make it like there we go so and now when we fill in this eye that mark will disappear and become the white you see it becomes the color, so I'm going to try to do this a little better than I did before. Make sure it's not on any lines, so we can just sort of cover what it's supposed to. Turn the smoothness up if I need a little bit of a heaviness to my drawing so I can get some control of it. Let's do this. Some heaviness so I get full control of our line, just like that. And then we use a color to fill it in. And boom, there we got our uh, very manga-esque eye. And it looks very great because it has a sort of stylistic... Um, niceness to it so now we can use we can, I think we can use this as a regular color however it does kind of block out that right there uh, with this uh, they're all blocking out the iris doesn't want to be in the hole oh that's because we're on if you were on lines in areas which you just do areas usually so I forgot to switch back to that so now we have our very professional <laughs> manga looking eye so with that that's pretty much all there is to coloring guys now just sort of to take in on a more complicated model is of course going to be a little more difficult. You got to come up with a lot of colors. You know, make sure you know how to do new style. And uh, one thing that will happen to you guys when you're animating is that you'll see these DBs and DCs. I'm not exactly sure why this happened, but it seems that when you do this and it switches, the colors that you had in D in the DC and the DB actually, all the way down to 22, and then DC will be different. So I ended up having to copy paste all my colors. And the way you do that is just copy, take this copy, and then you would do insert paste right here and then you have the color so it's a completely fine it doesn't ruin anything but if that ever happens to you guys I'm not really sure why it happens um, make sure you guys know how to take care of that so I had some color reference when I did this and um, what you can also do for um, coloring I want to show you guys how to do shading I'm not the best at it however um, you know it's it could be a good skill for some of you guys so what we can do is make another layer with which we so let's see all you gotta do is draw um, to make a new layer I'm pretty sure and what we can do is make that same thing so we don't have to use the marker tool because we already it's already a whole nother layer so we don't need to like you know fill anything else we just have to have some free will here so let's make a line that's like a the way to make a layer transparent so you can see better would be to click and drag to the left on on the layer so now we can see our shading better so let's make a space that we can fill in for this shading of this eye. There we go. And now we fill it in, make the color transparent, and now we can bring the opacity of this back up. There we go. Now our eye looks very nice and professional, and we like it. All right, so that's pretty much it for coloring, guys. Um, I did find out that you can actually use this as a full eraser no matter what. Let me actually zero that and then erase everything. So that's that's um that's how you color in Open Tunes. Now I did do this um repetitively. The t the task is very very tedious, and it takes a little while. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, side note, uh, guys, I am so excited that we reached almost 350 subscribers. I'm really excited for the future of this channel. I um didn't want to leave the 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 video without saying so. I want to start making my videos, whereas you guys can see my drawing hand drawing while I'm doing all this stuff because it seems pretty cool. So I can give you guys, you know, a little more uh, quality to these um, tutorials as they're 
they're they're not dull or anything. It just seems like I can use a little bit a bit of a an amp boost in them. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Mm -hmm.